Hey y'all, today I am going to show y'all how to make a chicken crust pizza. This is a super simple recipe and it is keto and low carb friendly. But first, I did want to take a minute since so many of y'all have been asking to update y'all about my brother. He had his first seizure last week. Everything had been okay until this morning. So this morning was very, very, very scary for our family. So at about 9.15, just a few minutes after he had left for his ski lesson for the day, we got a call that he had had a seizure. When I got to the ER, I found out that not only had he had a seizure, the seizure was when he was on a ski lift. He fell 15 feet face first into the ground and it was quite scary to hear that and the first thing that came through my mind was like he could be paralyzed he fell from 15 feet in the air and so i got immediately to the er my parents were on the way and um as soon as i got in there i mean he was very distraught and he was fighting these people they were trying to tie his arms down because they were extremely concerned about a head injury so time went on and these people were absolutely wonderful they like sedated him and they eventually had to ventilate him because he had to take a two-hour ambulance ride into denver to stay at the denver hospital to check and make sure um that everything was okay or if there was something wrong because when you fall from that high and especially landing flat on his face there is a very high chance of brain bleeds or broken bones and oh it was pretty awful morning to say the least I just got off the phone with my dad and for Michael to walk away with only two compressed two compressed thoracic vertebrae as well as a concussion is extremely basically miraculous to fall 15 feet his helmet um we went and looked at it after he was taken away in an ambulance and it was cracked down the front so that helmet probably saved his life everything is showing that he's going to be released tomorrow everything is looking good no more skiing for him which is extremely unfortunate because he literally looks forward to these ski trips all year and for this to be taken away from him it's extremely sad but for now i'm going to lighten up the mood and show y'all how to make this delicious chicken crust pizza sorry to bring down the mood but knowing that everything's going to be okay is lifting my spirits so i did want to say that in this recipe there is a lot of room for your own interpretation like if you want to season your ground chicken differently than i do in all means go for it or if you want to top your pizza with really anything you ever if you wanted to top your pizza with anything that your heart desires, there is so many different options. But I just wanted to show you this basic recipe so that you could try this at home. What we're first going to do is preheat the oven to 400 degrees. So you're only going to need a few ingredients to make the crust. You're going to need some ground chicken, about a pound about a fourth of a cup of shredded parmesan cheese a fourth of a cup i would recommend mozzarella cheese but my mom had to run out of the grocery store this morning i don't have a car so you know we're just gonna work with what we got okay use mozzarella if you're at home and have it so for seasonings we're gonna use a little bit of this pink salt some black pepper as well as some adobo all-purpose seasoning I would recommend maybe some Italian or whatever you really want to throw into this crust for your spices but this is what I got to work with at this condo we're gonna start out by basically dumping our pound of ground chicken into a bowl to make things easier I am just going to use my scale to weigh out the one-fourth of a cup of cheese and Parmesan. P.S. One fourth of a cup is 28 grams. 
Now I'm going to add in my Parmesan cheese, another 28 grams. Next, all we're going to do is go ahead and add our seasonings. I'd say about a fourth of a teaspoon of everything or season until your heart's desire. So that's the pink salt. Now going to go in with some pepper. And last is this just adobo seasoning since I don't have anything else. So what I'm going to do is just mix this up with my hands, form it into a nice mixed bowl of ground chicken and cheese. And then I'm going to add one sheet of parchment paper to my baking pan and then spread it in a flat sheet to bake in the oven. I have got my sheet of parchment paper and basically I'm just going to dump this ball of mixed chicken if I can get it out. <laughs> and I'm just going to press it into a thin layer on this baking sheet. So I have got this compressed down into one thin flat layer of chicken. When my oven finishes preheating, we are just going to throw this in the oven for about 20 minutes or until it is golden brown and looks done all the way through. I am going to top my pizza just a traditional way with some pepperonis. So I'm going to use a thin layer of this tomato sauce. It is garlic basil flavored. A couple pepperonis, some mushrooms, and then I'm also going to use this Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. Still, once again, would recommend mozzarella. Don't have it, you know, work with what you got. It'll still taste good, y'all. Now that my pizza is looking nice and golden, I'm going to go ahead and top it with my toppings. Once you get your pizza all topped, stick it back in the oven for about 10 minutes until all the toppings are nice and melty and slightly golden on the top and it's going to be oh so delicious to dig into. Y'all just take a look at this beautiful pizza. Look at it, it's so pretty. I just pulled it out of the oven, it looks so good. I'm going to slice it up and get to eating my dinner. So I like to cut my pizza into these little strips just because it's easier to eat. And if I ever dip it into anything, it makes it easy to dip. But oh my golly, as y'all can tell, I've already taken a bite. This is so freaking good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I really hope that y'all enjoyed learning how to make this chicken crust pizza. I hope that y'all give this recipe a try and make your very own version of this chicken crust pizza. And if you do, be sure to tag me on my social media accounts, which are all down below in the description box, so I can see your beautiful creations. Once again, thank you for all of your kind words about my brother. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more fun keto or low carb recipes. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with some other recipes. Bye guys. Mwah.